Hi, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a beautiful tassel chandelier. So first I want to tell you that this chandelier is hardwired. It does light up. It goes into the ceiling. I made this for my nursery, for my son's room, and I was inspired by Anthropology's chandelier that they have on their site, which is really expensive. Small disclaimer, this does take some time to make. You have to make a lot of tassels, so it's not a quick project, but it is a very, very easy project. It's also a very inexpensive project. There's quite a few tutorials on YouTube and on the internet right now about chandeliers and how to make your own tassel chandelier, macrame chandelier, yarn chandelier, all kinds of them, but this one is hardwired so I do feel that if you want something that lights up and you want something to be in your bedroom to function and not just for decor, then this is the project for you. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping in. I do DIY macrame. I'm getting ready to have a baby in about two weeks, so I'm kind of transitioning into some lifestyle things. And if you are into any of that, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. And now on to the project. Let me show you how I made this. So here's what you'll need. I got this mini pendant light at Home Depot for $16. Light bulbs sold separately. Some metal chain from Home Depot as well, which I spray painted gold and I will link this down below. Three gold hoops from AC Moore, one at 14 inches, one at 12 inches, and one at one inch some plain cotton twisted twine, which I also found at Home Depot. I ended up using about six of these and they are about $3 a piece. First thing you're gonna do is make a tassel and you're gonna make a ton of these, but let me show you how to make your very first one. I just used a random book from around the house. It measures at about four inches by six inches. You're just gonna start by simply wrapping your twine around the book and I wrapped mine, each one, I made sure that I wrapped it 24 times. Get a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut your twine there, leaving just about an inch of room. Then I made another cut about four or five inches long and you're gonna slide it underneath all of your twine and you're gonna pull it towards the end opposite of your loose ends and you're going to tie it twice just using an overhand knot. And then you're gonna to come to the other side, slide your scissors underneath all of that twine and make a cut right there in the middle. You're gonna take another piece of twine about six inches long and we're gonna create a gathering knot towards the top of our tassel. The best way to describe this is you're gonna make a loop and then you're just gonna start wrapping over and around that loop. Once you get to the bottom and you've got about an inch left, you're going to tuck your tail through that loop, come back to the other end of that loose string and pull it nice and tight so that it hides underneath twine that you just wrapped around. And then you can cut your little loose pieces off. And voila, you have your very first tassel. So now you just need to make like 100 or 200 more. In all seriousness, I ended up making about 150 total tassels for this project. Once you've got your tassels made, you can start tying them to your hoop. So I started with my larger hoop first, my 14 inch hoop, and I just tied them all the way around, making sure that they weren't too snug together and that they weren't too far apart. And then you'll want to cut off those loose ends where you tied your tassels onto your ring. Next, you'll do the same exact thing for your 12 inch ring. Tie all of your tassels to it and then cut off your loose ends where you tied them. And then you're gonna take your 14 inch ring, which is your larger ring, and set it right on top of your smaller ring. Now we can start attaching our rings to our pendant light. 
And what you wanna do is you wanna look underneath this little dome. There is a little hex bolt that's kind of tight. I did have to use a pair of pliers to get it loose. But go ahead and loosen that up, slide it off and slide the dome off as well. And then you can take your little gold ring and you can slide that onto your wires all the way down to the very top of your light fixture. And then you can reattach the dome by putting the wires back through the hole and tightening that hex nut. This is where we're going to attach our chain to connect the rings to our light. I measured about 14 links using this specific chain between the ring the inner ring and the outer ring. I did four of them and I had to use my pliers to open up my chain and close it. And I just made sure that I had an even number of tassels in between each section of chain that I attached. We wanna attach our 14 inch ring to our 12 inch ring. So I'm gonna use the same method to attach them. I'm going to do four links for each chain. So now our chandelier is ready to hang and I am installing mine in a place where there hasn't been a light before. So it's pretty simple for me. I made sure the power was completely off before I got started in this room. And I am not going to give specific instructions on how to install the pendant light, but one of my very first videos I ever did was a chandelier makeover video. And I do have more specific instructions on how to install a pendant light in that video. It's pretty simple stuff but please make sure that you do not have your power on you go down to the breaker box and turn it off before you get started once everything is hung then you can worry about evening it out and straightening it out and trimming so i'm just taking a wide tooth comb and i'm combing out my tassels straightening them out making sure nothing is tucked underneath tucked behind or any of that and then we're going to give our chandelier a little haircut just trimming off those excess strings that are hanging down you can install your light bulb and turn your power back on and you are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a perfect soft addition to my nursery. If you plan to make this chandelier, please leave me a comment. Let me know where in your home you're going to put it. And I will see you guys on my next project.